I'm Mark Billingham and I'm the author of the Tom Thorne novels, the latest of which to be published in Holland is Bloodline. I used to be a stand-up comedian uh, and an actor once upon a time, but I don't do any of that anymore. These days I just write crime novels. The inspiration for the novels comes from anywhere, you know, something somebody tells me, some little story in a newspaper, always a little story, you know, tucked away on page 12, not a big story, anything that makes me ask questions. I was once the victim of a, of a fairly nasty attack. I was um, staying in a hotel in Manchester and three guys burst into the room. I thought they were going to be room service, you know, and I answered the door and they were three guys in ski masks and I thought, that's not room service. Um, and they burst in and said they were going to kill me and uh, put a bag over my head and tied me up and took all my money and my watch and my credit cards and everything. And I was held in there for sort of three hours and it was, um, it was very scary. I remember I was lying on the floor and my heart was thumping so much I was bouncing off the carpet in this hotel. Um, that really helped when I sat down to write the novels because it made me very good at writing about being scared because I was really scared. The victim was a very key character in that book because victims are not often characters you get to know very well in crime fiction. Uh, and having been one, I was very determined that the victim was going to have a major voice in all the books. Tom Thorne is a detective that works for the murder squad. That's kind of all you need to know about him, really. I mean, he's, he's developed, or I hope he's developed, over, over nine books now. But the reader knows as much about Thorne as I do at any one time. I don't have his whole career mapped out or his life. I, he is somebody, you know, he's the central character in, in all the books. Um, and, and he takes what happens to him in one book into the next book. But, you know, the books are not full of things that have happened in previous books, so that you can pick up one book and enjoy it without necessarily having read any of the others. Um, but he's unpredictable. That's all I want him to be, is surprising. You know, I like it when I get letters from readers that go, why did he do that? I don't like it that he did that. That was a bit dark, why, you know, good. I always wanted the books to be a series. You know, I'd always loved series novels. And um, when the publisher wanted to publish my first book, they said, is this going to be a series? I went, yes. You know, I'd probably have lied anyway, even if it wasn't. I just wanted to be published, you know. Thorn is soon to become a television detective. Um, the shows start going out in about 10 days in the UK. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm nervous as well. I'm actually really nervous because there will be sort of letters and things from readers who go, oh, it's not like it is in the books. He's taller. He's taller than he is in the books. Or what's happened to his cat? Or why is it in East London, not North London? I mean, it's different. You know, a film can never be the same as a book. I was clo very closely involved in the, in the whole process of, of putting the TV show together. I didn't write the screenplays. I really didn't want to write the screenplays. Because when you adapt a book for the screen, so many things have to be cut and changed and condensed. And I didn't want to do that. I'm, I'm too close to it. I wouldn't be able, I'd go, no, leave it alone. But I've seen it. I've been very closely involved in, in the script, in the casting, in everything. Um, and I'm very excited about what's been made.